So the two most important priorities moving forward on cybersecurity are first, we have to start looking more closely at states. Our elections are run by states, they're governed by state laws, and I think there's been a lot of attention on Washington, D.C., but we need to be going to our state legislatures and asking, are our systems and procedures as dictated by state laws actually conducive to security? In a, in a lot of states, because of budgetary issues and, and frankly, lax um, regulations from the statewide level, they're commingling data on databases with recreation departments and uh, aid Department of Aging and so on. Uh, we, we've got to start taking our elections more seriously and the laws need to be updated to reflect that. Another really important issue is resilience. And I find people ask me all the time, well, is the election secured? And the fact of the matter is the election is never going to be totally secure. We have to understand that, we have to own that, and it needs to be okay for state election officials to say something bad could happen, but here are all the things I have in place to guarantee that when you cast a vote, I can go back and make sure it's counted. And an example of this is banks are hacked all the time, but I don't meet anybody on the street who's afraid to put their money in a bank. They know that there are systems in place to protect their money, and if something bad happens, that bank's gonna guarantee that that money's there. We need to start thinking about our elections uh, the same way.